What's up guys, this is Fedor with 3D Print SOS. Today I want to go over kind of like a design process and just the idea uh, dump uh, on something I've been working on recently. Uh, you know, since I got into YouTube and deeper into social media like Instagram and uh, trying to keep the content um, as high quality as I can and just to learn from everything that I'm doing and doing right and doing wrong, um, I've gotten more into kind of like video camera equipment and I've been trying to improve on my current setup, which isn't really that elaborate. It's a inexpensive DSLR with a Rode microphone uh, that goes in the hot shoe along with a small light. Uh, but I basically have been trying to maximize that um, setup for myself and make it easier to film myself talking to you guys or myself doing something like working on a printer or the printers themselves. And uh, uh, basically, I made a couple things, uh, for example, the first mount sort of that I made to try to improve this is uh, the CG15. Um, it is right now, it has a cell phone holder mounted on top, but it is designed for a DSLR camera. Um, it's meant for those POV style shots where it's really nice when you get real close to your body and you can do these nice pans. Um, it gives this really nice uh, POV view as you're walking uh, behind somebody or uh, uh, behind an object when you're following along. Uh, things for where you want kind of like natural movement of you following somebody or just flowing through. Uh, obviously a gimbal device is going to be really smooth. This is not for that, but it is it does make the camera handle significantly easier, which is really cool. Uh, the reason for the CG15 name really is because I, I kind of wanted to do a little crossover for uh, fans of the AR15. It uses an actual AR15 um, uh, grip and stock uh, you can put on uh, OEM items if you have those. It also uses a Picatinny system for the front so you can attach anything that you'd want here. I have a foregrip uh, here but you can put on a, uh, a light or even a, a cold shoe uh, adapter uh, to where you can mount your microphone or your light uh, for the camera on there. The other thing that I did was I made everything uh, removable. So for example, you could have a pistol style uh, setup. Uh, and I use this uh, for when I um, uh, do a POV uh, shot of myself for the camera. I actually end up putting the uh, camera on backwards so I could just hold this thing out and I have a nice grip on my camera. Um, if you want to be mobile with your camera, it does uh, handle really nicely on this and give you a, a nice little stable uh, grip to hold and you can still put on your attachments. Um, I also designed it to have a rubber pad, so a TPU printed pad to protect the camera. And this is great for a lot of handheld shots, things where you want movement, but most of my videos I end up needing to put my camera on the tripod. So it kind of started this uh, uh, I guess search for a, a device that could mount on the camera that could still hold all my accessories. And I came across um, a bunch of things like this, the C-mounts they call them. They're really inexpensive now. You could probably get one for like 15 bucks on Amazon. But where's the fun in that, right? I kind of wanted to make one that I wanted, that I would want to use. And so I came up with this first iteration of this grip. Um, and the reason for this grip mostly is to, to give me the ability to use autofocus. Right now, if I have autofocus on the camera, the microphone, which is really nice by the way, it uh, picks up the uh, camera's uh, focus uh, noise. And uh, you know, I have a Nikon D3300 with the kit lens. Um, even the prime lenses are, are pretty loud, though. You'd have to spend a lot of money on a decent lens for it to be quiet. And the microphone does pick it up, however, with the camera mounted here, the microphone could be at the very top sitting forward and that moves it uh, away far enough from the lens for you not to hear it. So that's the main reason for this type of setup. The second setup, uh, part of the setup that I really enjoyed was the ability to be able to mount multiple lights, even in multiple directions to light up the room. Um, and I made a mount at the bottom as well uh, to kind of uh, help with that. And that really made this, um, 
really, really useful and exactly what I wanted. One of the main points, like I mentioned before, is to be able to have the entire setup together, but be able to put it into my tripod to film a video like this. So I integrated a tripod mount uh, shoe, I guess, onto the bottom of this. So basically you can mount the camera this way and have all the equipment, or you can mount it this way facing yourself. So you can do self shot videos. Um, facing this way with the mic on top. So this thing is actually really versatile. However, I'm no engineer. Um, I'm a beginner in, in designing things, although I've been designing things for a while. I still consider myself a beginner. Something I overlooked, uh, a couple things I overlooked on this design. Basically, I, I made this portion look like it was machined. Um, and what ended up happening is this design makes it really strong this way. Like you, you couldn't even flex it. I don't want to necessarily snap it, but it can hold a lot of weight. However, in this direction, as you can see, there's way too much movement for this to be a reliable mount. And uh, that was just because of aesthetic, just something that I didn't even remotely consider. But that's, that's why there's gonna be a version two of this and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to record a little bit more of it than I did on the first one. I didn't really capture any of my design um, of this first one, but let me just go over it a little bit. But essentially, what this is is this was designed to be in two separate pieces so that it's easy to print. It is fairly large, so you'll need something greater than a 300 or greater than a 220 um, by 220 printer. So I use, for example, my 330 by 330 printer to print this. Uh, for version one. Version two is gonna be a little bit smaller and I'll explain why. Basically, one of the other major flaws is actually these mounts. Uh, basically, because they have to be printed with supports, um, the supports ended up fusing together and kind of creating an issue here so where I couldn't fit in the, uh, the items like the microphone or the light. So it, it rendered this whole thing useless. So actually in the second design, I'm going to make these two parts uh, detachable so that I can print them in a different orientation without supports. So everything on this mount will be printable without supports and multiple pieces on a smaller printer. But essentially we have a wooden grip. This is printed with wood PLA. And then we also have the rubber pad on the bottom um, printed in TPU to protect the camera. So yeah, I, you know, as far as as far as this version goes, I'm actually really happy with it. Even though I'm not going to use it, um, this was a great proof of concept, and I really like the look of this thing. Uh, but now it's time to get into version two and really improve this. Uh, if you guys are interested, follow along on Instagram at 3D Print SOS. I'm going to be posting progress uh, there. Uh, if you guys are interested in the CG15 mounts, um, I have these available on my website at 3dprintsos.com. You can pick up the STL files there. Uh, they're modular. You can print them on a smaller printer. Um, and I can also print them in a completely custom color if you don't have access to a printer. Uh, just, just an option for all you guys there. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in this type of video, I'll be more than happy to continue going. Um, you know, I think for version two, I'm going to um, fix this portion to make it stronger um, horizontally, and that's gonna be a major fix. But like I mentioned before, uh, fixing these hot shoes and making them a separate piece is gonna be just icing on the cake. I think because of this failure, this is actually going to be a much, much better tool for myself. And I think the next time you guys see this, it's going to uh, be improved in a lot of ways. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you follow along. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let's see you guys in the comments. If you guys have suggestions, like I said, I'm not an engineer. I just like tinkering, like designing stuff, like printing. Um, let me know if you have suggestions for this mount. Um, and like I mentioned, uh, I know that you can buy one of these that's aluminum, that's machined, that's already thought out, uh, that's very inexpensive, but let's have some fun 3D printing and designing. Um, love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Check out the CG15, and I'll see you guys in the next video.